Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about Wondershare Filmora 11, all the new feature and also some limitation in the free version also. So as a partner of the FCC program, I received a better version of Filmora from Wondershare and I'm very excited to share with you all the, uh, all the new feature of the program and also um, my thoughts on the new uh, upgrade and, uh, and stuff like that uh, so hopefully this video is helpful for you and if you want to download the software just uh, go ahead to the link I put in the description and if you want to purchase it uh, there's also some special discount coupon code there also and remember that this is just a better version it is not the official version so hopefully when they release the official version it is the same with this better version so so that you get the correct information okay so any updated information I will put in the description for you okay so let's go to my computer screen all right so now I'm on my computer screen and it is a start page of Wondershare Femora 11 uh, as you can see we have some chains uh, from this start page and the first thing you you can see here we have the create project button so this is normal but uh, down here you have some option for your project suggest the cloud backup if you want to back up your project to a cloud service you can you can just uh, click here to authorize by the way in this case i'm not going to to authorize it to back up to cloud because sometimes i don't trust the uh, online platform okay and go back to the project file and you have also uh, this is a backup option here uh, so what they call backup uh, cloud backup Okay, so that is the first new feature in Filmora 11 and the second one is the instant mode. So now we have the option to create a video quickly from their template uh, or they have different templates right here for ed education, cinematic and vlog and slideshow and stuff like that. All you need to do is to uh, click here to preview or you can just click this button to use it. For example, if you click the, uh, this button to preview, you have some more option okay so these are the templates that they they have uh, business corporate and it's a big deal minimal real estate stuff like that so if you want to use this template all you need to do is to just click use the template and it will open a new windows to create a video for you but uh, before doing that you have to import your footage to the software okay so just for example i just want to use some of my footage here just click open and then we can just double click here to import more import more video and more image to uh, to the software and now you can click this button uh, for auto create okay so it will create a video automatically for you in my opinion i think this is an interesting feature because uh, if you are lazy or you don't want to uh, to edit your video and stuff like that you can just uh, put the image and video into the software and it can create a, a video for you and being mentioned that when the creation is finished you can also adjust the title the, the effect and the transition or replace the music and, and mute the audio and stuff like that so you have some basic editing uh, feature in in the timeline also a few moments later okay so after a while the creation is finished and to be honest you have to wait uh, for the creation is uh, and the time you have to wait is up to your video um, duration if you create if you want to create a long video then the creation process will be very slow okay and here's the timeline and being mentioned that you have some some option here uh, so this is the editing timeline so you have some uh, button here for the element and the slideshow and all the stuff like that all the all, all the thing here you can uh, customize customize like the way you want okay so you can customize the text and the effect and elements and transition and stuff like that and you can also even change the change the template right here so you can select T and then uh, you have all the title and all the music here and also all the templates that you want to to use or, or not so it is very easy and i think it is a, a great feature for beginner and for lazy people who don't want to edit their video okay so that is a uh, the second second new feature in Filmora 11 and uh, let's go back to the home page 
so I'm going back to my home page and I'm going to click save so this is just an example video instant video okay uh, let's go back to the home page and the next feature I want to show you is about the speed speed ramping or curve speed uh, in Fimura 11 so uh, I'm going to uh, just uh, open a, an example project so this is my sample project that I just uh, import some footage of me and let's drag and drop this footage as an example so this is a 60 frame per second footage so that I can make a slow motion and also some fast forward for example all I need to do is to just put it on the timeline and keep the project setting so I'm going to change the project setting to 24 frames per second okay and uh, now we have a new button here with a speed uh, so we have a speed button but when we select the speed we have another option here speed ramping meaning that you can add keyframe to your speed to uh, or use the speed presets to make a slow motion video or uh, some kind of interesting video and for normal speed change you can click here uniform speed okay so this is uniform speed and now uh, on the right side you have another button is speed ramping so uh, if you want to just slow down the video you can just uh, slide this one to slow it down or fast forward okay or reset it so this is normal speed change in Fimura 11 and it is the same in Fimura, uh, Fimura 10 okay and this is a speed ramping option for example we have a clip here on the timeline and now we want to uh, do some speed ramping or stuff like that we can select the speed ramp option here and we have some some reset uh, speed reset here uh, we can select this one and let's see the, the clip on the timeline and we have two timeline this is a speed timeline and this is a, a video timeline okay so let's play it the same the playhead we move uh, to the same position So this is normal speed so you, as you can see on the speed timeline we have some keyframe here the first one the second one third one so all these keyframe are adjustable so you can just adjust the speed here for example it is slowed down a lot here and you can move it along the timeline uh, let's pre-play it okay slow down okay and fast forward and another thing we can just remove this uh, keyframe remove the keyframe easily by uh, select it selecting it and then you can hit this button to remove this uh, speed point or keyframe okay for example here I just want to slow down my clip mm. it will be uh, slow down from here to here and then come back to normal here and if you want to add more speed point uh, in this position for example you just uh, want to click this plus button to add more speed point so for example I can just uh, fast forward 10 times and now we have this video nice right and if you want to remove all the keyframe here you don't want to have the speed ram uh, effect you can click this button to click no uh, so it will become normal right okay so that is the speed ramping option in Fimura 11 and in my opinion I think it's very interesting to have this option uh, and uh, I'm very excited to play around with this feature in my next project Alright, so the next feature in Fimura 11 that I want to show you is about the viewing mask in your video property or image property. Okay, for example, we have a video here uh, on the, we want to drag and drop it onto the timeline. And now if we, if we want to uh, add a, a mask to your video, all you need to do is to select the, the video here and then uh, click the property. Okay, so when you click the property of the video, you will see a, a mask tab here. So you select it and now you have some preset mask for your video. Okay, so sadly it's just a preset mask so you don't have the, the freehand mask where you can draw around your subject or stuff like that. Uh, by the way, you can select a single line here. Uh, this is a mask and 
you can add a keyframe to your mask also. For example, I can move my playhead to the beginning of my clips and now I want to add one keyframe. So this is the first keyframe for my mask and we want to move it to the next uh, position and select here and then adjust the mask to this position. So by doing this, I have created two keyframes for my mask. So we can have this one play. It's very nice, right? And you can also create another keyframe by just uh, select it, select the mask here, and then create another keyframe. So walk around with the keyframe. Uh, okay, so that's all about the, the built-in mask in Filmora 11. And I think this new feature is interesting, by the way, uh, we still need a freehand mask where we, where we can draw around our subject and stuff like that. Uh, it is more interesting than this kind of mask and animation. Okay, and another interesting feature in Filmora 11 is the ability to add special effects from Boris and New Blue to your video inside Filmora 11. Uh, let me show you. So uh, when you go to the effect tab here, we see some uh, folder here, Boris Epics and New Blue Epics. By the way, this is just my better version. So I have some problem when exporting the effect because um, maybe when they officially release the software, they will they will let you export the project with this effect. Uh, but you have to uh, just firstly download download this effect to your computer, and then you can uh, click here to view the effect and then drag and drop it onto a timeline to use the effect. But again, you have to pay for pay some money to use this effect. Um, Maybe, because I have no ideas about the pricing plans of Filmora 11. Uh, is it included the, in the software or you have to uh, pay something like the AI portrait or stuff like that? But uh, I don't know. I will give you some more information in the description. Uh, by the way, you can click here, try it. Uh, for example, then Hi I guys, this welcome to effect. And we can double click at the effect to customize it. You know, so there's many many things to customize okay so kind of more and more complicated to uh to customize an effect in Filmora 11 okay by the way it's a good thing that uh, there's some uh, professional effect here boris epics and new blues epics so hopefully when they officially release the software i can try it and make a new tutorial for you uh, to see what included and how you can use it effectively. Okay, so let's go to the next feature. And another new feature in Filmora 11 is about this folder, the stock media folder. So when you click here, you have the option to download free uh, image or video from uh, this website, Jiffy, Pixabay, or Unsplash, and all this uh, all these free website are able to to use in Filmora 11 now. But I have no idea if they have an agreement with this website or not because when you want to integrate a service or a website in your software, you have to make some agreement or stuff like that. But yeah, it is very convenient for us. Uh, for example, if I go to a Pizza Bay and I, I can find some footage here, and all I need to do is just, just double click to download the stock footage uh, into uh, our software. But be careful because if you download too many things, your computer needs to, uh, to have a very um, big storage area. Otherwise, you will run out of uh, storage area, uh, run out of storage on your computer very quickly. Uh, so, for example, this is a 4K video. I can download it and use it for my project. It is nice, right? And it is the subscribe button. For example, I can just download it from Pizza Bay, where I don't have to go to Pizza Bay. Okay, download it and put the green screen and remove it. Okay, so now I have a subscribe button and a stock image right here. So it's very fast and super helpful to have this free website inside the, inside the program. Okay, okay, and finally, we want to talk about the free version limitation in Filmora 11. So you know that before, we have a free version of Filmora 10 and Filmora 9 where we can use all the features of the program. And the only limitation is about the logo at the export video. But now if you are using the free version of the software, you have some limitation. 
and for example when you click at the, the video here you have some yellow button here so when you click here and this is the limitation of the free version so in free version you can use the speed ramping option or you can just try it in three days or stuff like that and for this color correction is also the same you can only use the color correction for three days or stuff like that and green screen is also uh, one of the limitation in free version and motion tracking also and keyframe also okay so if you want to use all the features of Filmora 11 you have to purchase a license and if you want to uh, save your money or stuff like that you can check out my video description I will put everything there so you can download the software and you can also buy the software with my discount coupon code alright so that is all the new feature of Wondershare Filmora 11 and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below and hopefully this video is helpful for you thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye